Hey guys, Stuart from our dairy here. Hope you're well and having a great time uh, here in Bali. I wanted to share with you uh, a little insight that I got from uh, meeting with a, a client from our program. Uh, he's had a great 12 months, a uh, great two years actually. I want to share with you the two things I think he's done really well uh, in order to take his business from, hey, how are you going? Uh, from a startup uh, to absolutely killing it awards, a whole bunch. Uh, so I'm not going to mention the business's name because I know they're uh, sort of humble. Uh, but these guys uh, started in the, you know, the broken trade uh, a while ago. Hey babe, I'm uh, just talking about the lunch we just had. All right. Um, yeah, so they've started a business, they've got a great business, and they're really focused on wealth creation rather than just uh, you know, selling loans. But I think there's two things they've done really, really well, and they're probably a lesson for anybody who wants to start fast. The first one is they've really focused on partnerships. And uh, I think it was Jay Abrahams who said, if you could take one form of marketing above all others uh, and just take that with him, start afresh, he said it's partnership marketing. And they've built some really good partnerships with people who share their mindset. Uh, and they've done things like events and, and really gone for that, you know, uh, that quick key question I think is important to ask, which is if we're going to do something together, what does that look like? Uh, the other thing I think uh, they've done really well is right from the start, hey, how are you going? Um, is they've really asked this question, in order to grow this business, what are the stuff that we can no longer uh, do? In other words, they're constantly asking, you know, what are the things that in three years' time, if me as a business owner, if I'm still doing it, uh, will it represent failure? Uh, and I think in doing so, they've made a transition from being a business where uh, they want to be a, a person of, of, of value uh, to being somebody who's creating a system of value. And I think that's a trap a lot of people fall into. In the desire to be useful and to create value for people, we create businesses that are, are built around ourselves. And that's really important to start off with. But eventually, I think systems, processes, uh, rerouting forms of communication, a whole bunch of stuff is really key if you're going to get away from working harder and harder. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share. First thing I wanted to say, hey, how are you going? I uh, just wanted to kind of share that with you. Two really key things, you know? Partnerships, uh, one of the best ways to grow a business. And uh, constantly asking that question, you know, what are the things that we need to eliminate? Uh, how do we re reduce dependency on one person? Uh, and you know, looking for systems processes. Anyway, congratulations to you guys, by the way. Awesome story and uh, great to catch up with you here in Bali. That's it from me. Uh, if you've got something you'd like to share, in other words, if you've been on a similar journey from startup, what's the main thing or the one thing you did uh, in order to, uh, to break free and you know, go from being a startup to a successful business? Uh, and if you like our stuff, feel free to, to share it. Anyway, I'm off to have dinner uh, with my wife. She's got a babysitter in. Uh, but from here in Bali, I hope you're having a great week. I'll speak to you soon.